Remember the first time you saw the trailer to a new movie? How excited you got over the thought of planning a night out to the theater with your friends and immersing yourself into a completely unknown universe where there are endless possibilities? Then you head to the theater, expecting the most epic, enthralling, earth-shaking experience of your entire movie-watching life. Well, maybe you were right. After the two-hour movie, you head home, filled with thoughts about that captivating movie. You talk about it with your friends for a few days, uh, remembering the most memorable moments. But this excitement is short-lived. You slowly start to forget about that movie and move on to the next. Or you wait impatiently for a sequel to be released. Well, what if I told you that there is a solution to extend the pleasure and thrill of watching movies? Ladies and gentlemen, honorable judges, this solution is simple. Read the book before watching the movie. Let's start by mentioning the obvious. Reading is healthier than watching movies. Dr. Ken Pug, president and director of Haskins Laboratories, explains that reading creates a neural system considered of the motor, associative, and sensory parts of your brain, which are then used to help you think and concentrate while reading. This expands your vocabulary, keeps your brain active, develops your creative skills, and releases anxiety. In simpler words, Reading makes you uh, smarter than if you watch television. But reading is so boring, you're probably thinking. Why would I spend days watch reading a story when I can watch it effortlessly on my television? Well, I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. Reading a story before the movie comes out is so worth it. When you read the book before seeing the movie, it gives you so much more information about the story. The characters are described with much more intricacy physically, emotionally, and psychologically. Scenes are longer and reveal more about the subplots of the story, informing you, the reader, about, um, about aspects of the story that you might have missed while watching the movie. For example, for those of you who have read Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, you know that there is much more information about Harry's perspectives and opinions on, doc on Professor Dumbledore. In the movie, Harry is obedient to Dumbledore and barely questions his authority. But in the book, most of the story revolves around the lies and secrets that Dumbledore hid from Harry. Without this information, our understanding of the movie wouldn't have been as thorough. The movie doesn't always stay true to the book. Often, directors must cut scenes which are just less important, leaving the, the viewer often disappointed with the lack of material. However, when you read the book, all original details are mentioned. Whether or not the movie editors agree with this, I find that each development in a story is significant to the impact it has on the reader. For example, Percy, Jackson's, Percy Jackson was a terrific book series describing the life of a young boy exploring a world filled with mythological creatures who goes on many quests to protect it. However, the movie production had such horrible reviews because so many important aspects of the story were changed to please the audience. An argument of watching movies is that it permits the viewer to escape reality and distract them from the world they are in. However, if you only watch the movie, you can only enjoy this feeling for a couple of hours and are never able to fully immerse into the story you are viewing. Contrarily, reading a book or a novel of approximately 200,000 words takes a reader approximately two, 12 hours, distributed in one or two hours per day. This means that you spend about two weeks carried into your story's universe, giving you much more time to enjoy it and soothe your mind with the subject that you love while, watching, while waiting for the movie to be released. And isn't it much more fun to know the ending of a story before all your friends? You get to see them squirm around, impatiently waiting for the release while you savor your superior knowledge. It also gives you the opportunity to connect with other people who have also read the book. You are able to discuss details that only a select few know. This gives you the opportunity to have a greater variety of topics of conversation where you can talk about your opinions or behind the meaning of the, the book, the superiority of the book compared to the movie, or even how you imagine the characters or settings would look like. It allows you to build a community where passages of the book can be analyzed and criticized. 
Now, I'm not trying to convince you that books are better than movies, but rather that to have a complete view of a story, it is important to experience both the book and film. And for those of you who are still unsure about your reading abilities, start slowly by reading a little bit each day, whether on the bus, late at night, or on long road trips. Then, before you know it, you won't be able to put the book down, and you won't even see the time pass as you immerse yourself into the story. Just remember that there is a book out there for everyone. All you need to do is keep an open mind and open a book. Thank you.